Hey everybody, it's Paul again. Uh, this is day two of my uh, LED beverage bucket build. And now um, I've let the silicone stay overnight. And uh, the inside of it is still kind of moist. The outside had a nice little you know, seal on it, a little cured end on it. So I'm going to um, use my daughter's hair dryer to see if I can kind of heat up the tubing to bend it the opposite direction because apparently the, the LEDs are on the outside of the tubing where when I go to put it inside the bucket it is uh would be showing in, in, into the bucket itself well on, into the wall of the bucket so I'm, I'm going to try and my best to heat up the end and see if I can bend the tubing in the opposite direction that was on the spool so I'm going to get my bucket here. Um, actually, I had a terrible time trying to get this bucket to hold my tubing in place. I've tried I tried different things here. I'm using my tech adhesive. It wasn't until after I stuck it on the bucket, and it, it actually required 24 hours of setting time before it would start holding. I didn't realize that. So apparently, you got to like build whatever you're building, squirt the stuff in there and then wait till the next day to even use whatever he's building. Um, here I was changing out my uh, uh, caulk gun because apparently the blue one was messed up and I forgot all about it being messed up so I got my green one that I, I know works. And of course you can't see anything except my shirt. Here I'm trying to hold, having to, having to hold it down in place and try different things. Um, I ran to get some uh, different uh, glue stuff that's going to plumber's glue and then I actually accidentally put some of that purple stuff on it first I shouldn't have I wasn't thinking but it's at the very bottom so you really can't really tell kind of matches in with the purple bucket I've tried and tried everything it just it just would not I would put it on there and I would hold it and we just and here I'm trying to clean it up to see if maybe I can clean out the thing I think I've burnt my, my oven towel trying to wipe it down and uh, now I'm trying to wipe the other the tube down, try to stick it on there. Um, try to put some of that uh, that plumber's pipe, PVC pipe glue, trying to hold it down, sit there holding it and holding it. Can't really tell. Uh, I tried to move out the way of the camera, which never can see the do. I'm sitting there waiting and waiting. It would just never would hold. I've, Wipe it off and uh, wipe the inside of the thing. This is where I use that the purple stuff by accident. I really shouldn't have. I just should just left it alone. I thought I was going to use it to kind of clean up the excess stuff, but all it did was just turn everything purple, even the end of the the tubing. Now I'm just sitting there trying to think and I'm trying to wonder. I'm trying to hold it in place and trying to. Um, just trying to figure out what's going on. I spent nearly half the time just trying to get that first section of tubing to, to hold still. And with that tubing being the other direction, it was just hard to keep pulling itself back out and then undoing everything. So I'm going to take this bucket here and I'm going to heat up some water on the stove and and on, in the microwave to kind of fill it up to help heat up the tube. So now I'm through heating up the tube. I've, it actually looks white because I put it in the freezer. Uh, I, I round it the other way, heated it up. So now the tube in the other direction. So now it's kind of helping out a little better. Um, I'm still trying to get the stick. So I'm using this uh, Lowe's milk crate uh, that I got for, for $5 from Lowe's. And now I'm trying to use a little bit of wax. I actually, I started trying to use uh, hot glue sticks because I couldn't find my hot glue gun. So I'm trying to melt hot glue and, and kind of shove it up behind the, the tubing. That didn't help either. So the tech adhesive didn't hold the stuff. It would take too long. The the pump, the PVC pipe glue would never hold it because it just kept pulling away. Now I'm using hot glue. At first I thought it was holding it in place. I was like, yes, woo! But it never never did. So then I started taking the, the wax of the candle and actually pouring it into the seams. Now I'm trying to use this my daughter's uh, hair dryer to help melt the wax, but it never didn't do too well. It just blew out the candle. 
So I really like the candle. I'm going to try to use the candles, the wax of the candle to actually hold it in place. It kind of seemed to work a little bit. Uh, there was one place that kind of came apart. Now I'm sitting here. I wish y'all could see what's in there, but I'm, I'm having to work inside this bucket, and the only way to do it is get both my hands in there, and unfortunately, I was in front of the camera most of the time. I'm not showing my pretty face to y'all. So I'm sitting here, I'm holding it, I'm still waiting, trying to get the candle to melt faster. I even brought up my hot plate, but I couldn't figure a way to... Uh, and I, I didn't have any pots on hand to stick a candle in. So I'm sitting here, still working with it. And then I brought up my silicone. I said, well, let me just try that. And it actually seemed to help a little better. I squirted a line on the, the silicone on there and hold it down in place. It actually seemed to hold better and 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 easier but I still needed to hold it in place and uh, having to work with the tubing you know hanging out the side of the bucket it seemed to work pretty good I, I was able to manage the tubing better being that I was able to bend it the opposite direction now doing being that it soaked in the hot water for a little while so now I'm using the the silicone is actually hold, being able to hold it and but I, that stupid little red crate kept sliding all over the table and almost fell off the back end one, at one point but uh, it, it definitely helped out holding the, the bucket in place I was able to spin it and rotate it without having the, the bucket rolling all over the place so I'm sitting holding I'm trying to find my, my duct tape in order to position so I can keep on uh, moving everything I'm sitting there trying. It's actually going a little better. I can. I was able to continue moving the, the hose around a little bit to kind of position it and uh, hold it down. And actually, it, the silicone held better. I should have used that in the beginning. If I if I did work on another bucket, I'll be having several tubes that silicone. You see that tube right there is almost flat, and empty. So I had to really prolong the use of that, that tube as best I could. Yeah, I'm just going to turn it. Yeah, I'm holding place. I'm actually getting a lot of stuff done. I should have used the, that stuff in the beginning. So on my next bucket, I'm definitely using silicone. And then uh, go back over it and reseal all the edges just to hold it down a little better. Oh, there's my daughter. She came in to... Uh, Help out, you got the little kitten. That's uh his name's Salem, he's all black. As the that's a, there she's helping hold the thing while I go find my duct tape. Yep, oh, I found my black duct tape, so thank you, Sydney, for helping me. So she's ran off to play with the kitty kitties while I try to duct tape everything. I'm filming me clamp that way I can actually use the clamp to hold the tubing in place and let it dry and secure cure or whatever silicone does. So you can see it's holding holding the tube up there because the tube get one to slide over the end and everything. So you know, definitely should have that extra clamp when you're running the tubes like that. Almost done. I'm getting to the very end of it. I'm getting happy. And it's been eight minutes. It's been too long. As you can see there, it's almost almost done. And there's the end of it right there, almost hanging out. So I'm all excited, and I'm ready to test it. Sure, I didn't crush any LEDs while I'm trying to manhandle all those tubes in place. So I'm getting all the power supplies out. I want to test it and uh, make sure all the LEDs are working and and uh, and looks pretty pretty nifty. So I'm plugging it all in and fixing to turn it on. Anyway, this is Paul. I appreciate you watching uh, day two of the LED beverage bucket build. Uh, the do-it-yourself DIY. I appreciate you watching. You have an awesome day. Please subscribe.